Hey friends, it's Jess with Virtually Visual. I just released a hair pack on my Gumroad and I'm super excited to dive in and kind of show you how it works. Um, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can really use this hair on any character, whether you're using something from like Mixamo or a Genesis character from Daz, um, or even something you've modeled yourself and rigged through maybe like Mixamo or something else. Uh, this theoretically should work with any model. Uh, the gist here really with all the hairstyles I've designed is that you have your Cinema 4D hairs made with different guide sections and then you have a bald cap which this is the part that we're going to be snapping onto um, any model and um, the way we do that first of all is let me close that you go to the little bend deformer folder here and we're going to go to shrink wrap and you're going to drag that into as a child of your bald cap and then you're going to locate your model so in my case this first one i have visible is my genesis 8 female from daz and i'm going to bring that into target object and you'll notice that the hair has now kind of like attached itself more to the base of the head but the thing is we do not have collisions yet so if i go here and I make my ponytail hairs guidelines in the viewport. If I hit play right now, if we have some wind blowing. So you may have seen the hairs kind of clip through the character and don't actually collide. So I'm gonna turn off that wind. The way we change that is we need a hair collider tag on our character. So make sure you have that. Uh, I did not even know about that at first when doing hair, but that is all you need. And then the hairs will not clip through. Perfect. So you may have noticed the hairs did not clip through that time. So that is really how you set up your hairs. You have shrink wrap under your bald cap layer and you have a collider tag on your character. So if I um, want to remove this hairstyle from the character, the first thing I want to do is delete the shrink wrap layer. Hair goes back to how it was. And then I will, for example, turn on, let's turn on the Mixamo bot here. Do the same process again. Add shrink wrap to our bald cap and then choose this surface of the Mixamo character. Then it will shrink wrap to that uh, Mixamo shape. So um, yeah, now the ponytail style is on our Mixamo robot. So pretty neat. So yeah, that's really the process for all of these hairstyles. Make sure that your bald cap is um, you can have it enabled in the viewport, which is the first dot up here. Um, I like to have it on just so I can see where the hairline kind of is if I have to make adjustments, but uh, I would disable it for the render view and do that for all of the styles. So just make sure that it's always disabled um, in any of the other hairstyles. Okay, so I'm also just gonna quick show you the hairstyles. Um, I'm not gonna have them simulated, um, but if you just hit play on these once you have them in the spot you want, um, then you can see kind of how gravity will be looking on or gravity or wind or whatever um, instead of just the basic hairstyle so that it adds a little bit more realism I think um, but yeah I'm just gonna go back to the start these are the initial states for the guides I'm just gonna go through each style so next we have a men's short hair style and this I was actually inspired by like k-pop and Homelander <laughs> from the boys. I don't know why. Yeah, I guess it's more Korean hairstyle inspiration, but I thought it would be a fun, basic kind of men's hairstyle. Um, and there is also dynamics on this one. So let me just, I think we're okay. We've got our collider. If I just had hit play, this one I made a little bit more stiff to keep the volume, but the ends um, and everything should still react to wind for example if i turn that up so it's going to be slow to see but um that is happening one thing i will say if you want to see your simulations maybe a little bit faster one tip that i have is if you go into the viewport tab you can change this detail amount to like five or even less and it will show you less hairs here it won't change the amount in the render it just changes how much you see in the viewport so that could speed things up but by default i think this is 25. so that's that hairstyle next we have a mohawk which is really fun um 
This one I actually made for a, my last post even, I think it was. Um, I just rendered out some like hair for different like Barbie type characters, but I ended up replicating the mohawk style for the Genesis characters. So really straightforward. I uh, just got a mohawk layer and a buzzed layer and the colors are actually driven by a ramp. So in the, the main cinema hair material, I just hit load preset and I think I even did this blue, green, yellow option. So tons of ways you could take this. Obviously all these options you can use so you can get really creative with your uh, hair. Also, just while we're talking on materials, the Redshift hair material, just so you know, the stray, I have a little bit of stray hair in here which are almost like the tiny little blue hair, blue or white hairs, excuse me, that you might see in between the main ramp. If I got rid of that, let's see, we're at like 0.276. If I get rid of that, you will not have any of those stray hairs. If I take it all the way up, the whole thing will be that color. So it's adding individual stray hairs between um, the rest of your ramp. Okay, so next we have a short hairstyle. And this is what it looks like. I have denoising on right now. Let me turn that off because it's kind of hard to see here. Um, it was just blurring some of those colors. So if you want it static, this is kind of what that looks like. And the kind of nice thing is what you could do is if you like this bangs shape, how I've styled it here, you could go into dynamics and just turn the, the dynamics off so it won't be affected by gravity. Um, but if you do want it um, to be affected by wind or whatever you've got in your simulation, uh, just keep that on and when you hit play, the hairs obviously move with wind or with gravity or whatever you have going on. So the only part that's not really dynamic is the part that is swept back behind the head. So if we go to the back view, you will see that I have this section where the hair is pulled back. So the thing that I did in my first test render was I just took a tube shape and I brought that up and positioned it where I wanted it um, on the character. And if you had an animated character, I would just uh, put that as a child under your actual character object and then it will move. Or I would use a parent constraint to have it follow the, uh, a certain like bone, like the head bone in an FBX rig. Um, but yeah, that's that one. This is the last hairstyle and this is just a long hairstyle. And I love this one. I think the hair color is really fun. Oh, and the bald cap is not hidden, so we need to do that. So yeah, that's what it looks like when you start. Um, and one thing to note here is a lot of these styles I have brushed specifically so they are not touching the character at any point. So um, hopefully they will not be touching on any characters you have. But if you are worried about anything, um, you can always go into the groom tab here um, and you can just take the brush and kind of brush some strands out of the way. So, um, yeah, that's just a tip there. Let's simulate a little bit of this. Let's tr keep our wind on. This is kind of what it's looking like. So I really like how it affects the little strands I've got here. Nothing crazy to this hairstyle. It's just long and straight. And I figure it just makes it easy for uh, for one, the simulation to kind of play through. So if you, for whatever reason, are like, I love this hairstyle, I love how it animates, but I'm not a fan of it just being straight. Um, you can change that. Hairs will probably clip through the character a little bit because of Cinema's system. But if you double click on this hair material and you go into like wave, um, you can start to add some texture to your character's hair. So that does a little bit, but you might want to do and then you're gonna start seeing it more affected once this updates. So you can really just play around with it depending on what kind of shape you're going for. Um, obviously this is another option and this is just me messing around with Wave. Um, but I'm gonna turn that off for now because I don't want to mess with the original shape. If you just wanna change the color, um, this one is 
primarily using full strength stray hair value. So if I just go in and I change this here, it's gonna change the color instantly. Um, I'm just gonna undo that. Um, but you could delete this redshift material from the hair and you're still gonna have red hair. It'll just look a little different um, because we have red set here. Um, yeah, so the hair just behaves differently in, uh, in the normal materials versus with the addition of redshift. So uh, I prefer using the hairs with redshift materials. It's not needed, but it is much nicer. And I think it looks a little bit more realistic. So yeah, that is the hair pack. Um, again, any of these you could use with dynamics or without. If it's really hard for your computer system to run a full simulation, I might suggest trying in the uh, dynamics tab in the hair, go to animation, change this frame number to maybe like 20 and then just hit relax. And it will simulate some of the movement um, for you. Again, these will all be individual files that you can download off of my Gumroad. I hope this is helpful. Hope you guys are excited. I love doing character work. I think it's really fun and hair is such an essential part most of the time of a character, but it is definitely a pain to learn a cinema's hair system. It's definitely outdated. Um, I'm sure they plan to upgrade it in the future, uh, but for now we'll just have to make do. Yeah, hope you guys can enjoy this. I'll be making more hairstyles moving forward. These I kind of wanted to keep somewhat simple to start off. Um, I was inspired honestly by New Plastic and his amazing hair pack. Um, I ended up buying that um, just to try that out and kind of wrap my brain around how he was approaching things. So he has a ton of great curly hairstyles like uh, afros and dreadlocks and um, different types of, you know, kink levels and curl types. So I definitely recommend that if you are somebody looking for hairstyles more of that nature. I thought I would do something different for one, just to bring something different to the table, but also so that I could recommend his amazing pack um, because he already has amazing curly hairstyles out. I hope if you download the pack that you can enjoy the hairs. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please let me know. One last thing I do wanna cover. Let's say you have a character and you pull the hairs in and the hair cap is too small. Um, my first suggestion would be, if you can, make your character smaller so that their head seems to fit the shape of the bald cap or a little bit smaller like this um, before you do the shrink wrap method. However, if that's not an option for whatever reason, um, I would recommend clicking the bald cap, turning off the hair first, and then hitting T on your keyboard and kind of playing with the sizing of the bald cap till you're at a spot that you like and then doing the, um, oh, then you can enable your hair and then you shrink wrap. But I'm gonna just undo that because I don't need my cap resized. I have these set to be pretty much at zero of location. So hopefully they are kind of near where you will need it to be. And my dad's figure is sized based off of the um, normal figure, the standard height. So um, hopefully it should be pretty, um, universal. You can just drag these around to where you need to and then do the shrink wrap method. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have so much fun with this. Um, please let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them and uh, provide any feedback I can. So happy creating guys. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.